Hi there, I'm Jasper from Yellow Glove Productions and today I'm talking with David Gaffney, one of the top property photographers in, the, if not the top property photographer in the UK, number one. Number one. <laughs> So today, yeah, we're going to be talking about video and photos for property, why you need it, why they're useful. And yeah, do you want, do you want to talk about your experience with property photography to start with? Well, I've been doing property photography for about, um, about six years now. It was a, a company called How Simple. You've probably heard of them. They called up my wedding site because I'd never done property before. And they said, oh, you're a wedding photographer. Do you do properties? And I've never done properties before, but never look a gift horse in the mouth. I said, yes, got straight onto YouTube. Oh, what am I going to do? Went there the next day, didn't shoot. It was all great. And I've been doing it ever since. And as you know, we've been pushing our way forward to the top of the tree. The best designers, um, the best builders. We're, with, we're at the top of the tree now. So, you know, if you want to get into property photography, just go for it go down to your local estate agents and say, let me do a free photo shoot for you, get yourself in the door and away you go. What, what is the point then in having property photography? Why not just do it on your iPhone? What would you say stands the, the work you do out from the crowd? Well, you get a lot of um, the estate agents that, that they started out doing it on their iPhones and stuff, but they noticed that other estate agents were basically producing better marketable material with the videos and with, with professional photography because at the end of the day, you're selling something that's um, you know, worth up to half a million, a million quid. Yeah. So you've got to put your best foot forward. You can't just send someone in there with an iPhone after you've done a, an entire year of renovation work and design work. You've got to put your best foot forward. When they bring us into the picture, that's at the end of so much hard work that the builder or the designer has done. This is their baby. Yeah. And you know, it's up to us to then take it another few notches up to say, hey, listen, this is what it can really look like. So that's where, that's where we come in. Yeah, and when, when it's all been staged as well, you know, when the, the set's been dressed, essentially, um, it's just so nice to have those shots that are going to, you know, outlast who, the tenants that come in and, you know, you can re-put them up every time. Maybe a tenant leaves or moves on, or if you plan on selling the home, yeah. anything like that, you've got quality photos of it dressed, you know, details, everything like that, and it just, just makes all the difference, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, the quality that um, the photography and the video is at nowadays is, remember when you looked at the old magazines, yeah. old, and you see like a house shoot, and it'd be like a celebrity house shoot, and you think, wow, that's a brilliant house. That's the, that's the quality, that's the level that we're shooting at now. And especially with a HMO, you want to do that shoot before the tenants come in, before the students yeah. come in, because literally, about half an hour after they walk in the door, the place looks like a bomb site. So you need to get in there, record how everything looks absolutely fantastic, then put it into your marketing material and off you go. So in terms of like uh, the, the work just increasing in quality, I mean, we, we're always trying to outdo ourselves with every shoot, I feel. Um, but I, I guess what we do, we try and bring personality to the photos, to the video, not just making it boring. You know, you get all those detailed shots and... I'll do the same with the video, getting the detail shots, guiding mm. people through with crossfades and, and all that. Well, the thing is, I think because we come from different areas of, of photography and videographer, videography, I mean, we bring something very different into the property photography realm, so to speak. Um, for instance, I've got a client, a client that we shot for recently. She's very careful with money. Let me just say she's careful with money. And she saw one of your videos and she was absolutely blown away. Now, she saw loads of property videos left, right and centre. She's had lots of videographers come and work for her. But when she saw yours, after the work we've been doing up in Manchester, she was like, I've got to have it. I've got to have him. I've got to have Jasper. I was like, what about me? She said, no, no, I've got to have Jasper. So I said, well, I tried to put her off you because I said, because we're certainly not the cheapest. We're certainly not the most expensive. But I thought, no, she's not going to go for that. But she saw that and I gave her the price and she was like, yeah, I want it. I want him because the way you've done it is just not like anything she's ever seen before. Yeah. Especially with that, that property you did in Manchester, just that beautiful scene where you were, you were sort of sliding across, not you, the camera, obviously, <laughs> sliding across the hallway, and, and it was really dark and sexy and moody, and it was like, wow, this looks really like cinematic. Yeah, it looks good. It's not just someone walking around with a video camera going, a cup of tea, love, two, two sugars, yeah, cheers, love. You know what I mean? It was, lo it was absolutely brilliant. So that's where we're going now. Yeah, even, even the most hesitant customers 
and, uh, and you know, HMO people and vendors are, are, are coming to us now and, and wanting our services. It's just like bringing in different perspective to what's been done before. Yeah, it's, it's different, that's it. It's just, a, it's just a jumping quality that it's really noticeable. Subtle, but noticeable, and if what? that makes any sense whatsoever. And what we've done as well, we've started doing the 360 tours as well, which is obviously something um, I think born out of lockdown, really, that's really got popular. I feel like 360 obviously gives you a chance to be contactless. Mm -hmm. And if, if there's a tenant from one good point someone said the other day was they have a lot of international students coming to live in their HMOs. So, you know, they're not going to be able to pop in next Tuesday or anything like that. So they can just send them the links and mm -hmm. the video, the photos, 360 tour. But the debate now is this video or 360. Now, I know you, you, yeah. you do them both. You do them both very, very well. The best in the country, in my opinion. But what do you prefer? I'm, I tend to go for your videos. When I look at your videos and then I look at the 360, I'm just more turned on by the video. It's just really more sexy. Do you know what I mean? I, I think with the... It's, it's not either or for me. I think you've... One sort of complements the other. If you have the video, it's going to be you're feeling the mood of the property and you're gaining a sense of the style of it. Is this a place that you're going to want to live? Yeah, and I suppose, it, set up? Yeah. It's, I suppose it comes down to the actual, the, the need of the clients. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, they're both fantastic to have, um, both comparable in price. Uh, personally, I love, I, if, if it was me, if I was yeah. the customer, I'd go for video over the 360, but obviously I'd get rid of the 360 and the video for my amazing <laughs> photos because That's I'm it. the best in the country. <laughs> That's it. And I feel like with the 360, it's, it's good because then you, you get a sense of the space. With, with the video, you get mood yeah. of the space. With the, with the 360, it's very much a sense of um, you can look over there. Okay, that's where the ensuite door is and things like that. So you can really imagine yourself living there. Well, there's also the actual what kind of 360 are you going to do? Are you going to go with the camera called the Z1 or are you going to go with, what's the big one? The Matterport. The Matterport. Now, we've all seen those Matterport um, 360 tours and wow, yeah. they are sexy. I mean, you, you do have to pay a little bit more for them. Um, the hosting for the actual uh, 360 tour itself is, is, can be quite expensive. But you really do pick up on the jumping quality. Yeah. So it's really what you're prepared to pay for. Yeah, I mean, 360s now with the, those things like Matterport, you get a... A 3D scan. Yeah, the like space. the dollhouse yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, really than a, um, rather than like a photo. Yeah. So there's there's so many levels now of the 360 tour. Uh, like we were saying, the jumping quality with photos and mm -hmm. video. There's so many levels now of the 360 tour. So yeah. it's just crazy where technology's gone. Now, when I was talking about comparing the 360 to the video, I, I was talking about the Z1. Yeah. Um, but you talk about Matterport, mine might actually go with the 360 over the video now because yeah. that quality is so amazing. Yeah. And in terms of, I guess we've talked about, you know, what, what we're offering and why it's good, but I guess the real benefit of having good photos, good video, good 360 is not just uh, advertising to tenants or buyers, but also a lot of the people we work with use investors as well, I think. Yeah. So being able to show an investor a new investor especially, why, why should be going with us as a property company? Um, being able to have that visual yeah. evidence behind Well, is, like, like is anything, really whether it's marketing, whether it's weddings, whether it's property, at the end of the day, what we're doing is we're selling a dream. And you want to be able to look at those photos, look at that video and go, oh my God, that's the place for me. I so think when we're, we're photographing, when we're videoing 360ing, the HMOs in particular, because we're so experienced, we know now what to look for, mm -hmm. what, what certain developers are looking for. Some are very, um, how would you say, very, they've got a good vision in their head of what they want to yeah. see on the photos. So when we work with those clients who are doing regular builds or renovations, uh, you know, we know how to approach their property, which is good. We've done, we've done, we've done photos and videos for, for the absolute top people in the industry. And what's happened is these people do a lot of masterclasses, mm -hmm and workshops so a lot of their students all come to us and go right and we want it exactly like yeah. you know our, the, the master did it so so we, so we tend to be sort of replicating what we've done at the top all the way down now so That's it. just bring in rinse and repeat top top quality game yeah to, just keep just keep the quality property. right up there and they'll yeah. keep coming back so thank you dave for coming on and having a chat with me hope you 
the audience at home, on your laptops, on the tube, wherever you may be watching this, have learned a lot about property photography and maybe thinking about video and photo 360 for your next development. Yeah. See you on the awesome. next shoot. Brilliant. I'm Jasper from Yellow Glove Productions and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.